Okay, hello everybody, Doge here, and in this video we're going to answer one very simple question, and that is, which wheel size in Space Engineers is the fastest? So, we have for comparison here today the gigantic 5x5 wheels, and, and keep in mind these are all large grade vehicles only. We have the 5x5 wheels, we have the 3x3s, which are quite popular, and of course the tiny little 1x1 wheels. So, just a quick look at the methodology here. Um, each of these vehicles is on the exact same type of track, so this is 100 blocks, you know, 100 large grid blocks from start to finish here, and how I'm going to test these is I'm going to get in each vehicle, and then I'm just going to press and hold the forward button until the vehicle reaches and smashes into this finish line wall, and for precision I will be looking at the recordings to find the exact time when each vehicle starts moving and when each vehicle hits the wall, and then I will measure the time between those two events for each vehicle to find out how long it took for each vehicle from start to finish. Um, then just another look at the vehicles themselves. So each of them have the exact same body, so it is eight blocks long and three blocks wide um, for all three vehicles, and all of them have the flight seat at the front and the battery at the back there. And the reason for this is, you know, to make it a fair comparison so that each vehicle has to carry, um, you know, the same amount of weight in terms of the body itself. Um, then we have the wheels. The wheels are all on the default settings except for the um, height offset which I set to the minimum and that was primarily because the one by one wheels would not work at all unless I set the height offset to the minimum and for consistency I set the height offset to minimum on all of the other wheels as well but that should not affect the speed in any real way. Um, all the other settings, the, you know, the friction, the strength, um, the power, all of that stuff is all just the same, the defaults. I did not change any of those settings, and the world itself is also just a vanilla world. Um, the only mod that I added is the unlimited speed mod, and obviously, you know, that's so that we don't artificially limit the speed of any of these vehicles if any of them happen to reach or surpass 100 meters per second, which is the maximum speed in the vanilla game. So there's a quick look at the methodology and how we're going to run this test. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first vehicle we have in the test today is a 5x5 wheel vehicle. So let's give that a go and see how long it takes. So in 3, 2, 1, go. Gotta do a little bit of steering correction here to make sure it doesn't go off the side of the tracks. And there we go. We have reached the finish line there and it has flung itself a little bit off the sides and in fact a little bit into the way of the other track here, or actually no it hasn't, it's only uh, fallen off to the extra spare fourth track there on the side, so that's fine. So there's just a quick look at uh, the aftermath of the 5x5 vehicle test. Alright, the next one up here is the 3x3 wheels, so let's see how well that does. And in 3, 2, 1, go! It's feeling pretty similar honestly. Um, and there's the end of the test for that one. Park that one there, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say because I don't know what the exact timings are until I edit the video, so I have to say they felt kind of similar. Um, I can't tell if it was a little bit slower or if it's just, that's just, you know, me imagining things because that's what I would have expected to happen, but uh, here we're now down to the last vehicle in the test, and that is the tiny one by one wheels. So let's do that in three, two, one, go. And that also feels pretty similar. This one uh, smashing right through the wall because the tiny little wheels are not uh, big enough to actually be the point of impact. So the body itself impacted the wall and that's why we crashed through the wall there. So three different uh, vehicles there, three different wheel sizes, three different results of the tests as well. This one bounced all the way back here and had some collision back here. This one kind of just stopped at, uh, you know, bounced back a little bit from the wall and then stopped there. And this one smashed straight through the wall. Um, so that's pretty interesting as well. Different collision effects there. Alright, so here are the results. And as you can see, all of the three different wheel sizes are pretty much exactly the same speed. There is a slight variation with the one by one wheels, but uh, I would have already expected the 
Uh, you know, the one by ones to be at a little bit of a disadvantage because the wheels physically don't reach out as far at the front of the vehicle as compared to the 3x3s and the 5x5s. Um, and of course, there's a little bit of margin of error there as well. But I think it's safe to say that all of the wheels are pretty much exactly the same speed. So that's certainly not the result I was expecting, but uh, it's good to know whenever you're building your uh, vehicles. Um, that you, you don't have to feel bad about using smaller wheel sizes uh, because it's not going to cost you at all in terms of the speed of the, of the wheels. So there you have it guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. If you're looking for some more Space Engineers videos, check out my channel and maybe take a look at some of the Let's Plays I have on there. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys later.